is John Paul Rye. I'm coming to you from Tokyo, Japan. There's a website by Nikki Swift. She's also got a YouTube channel and she goes through all the people who have a problem with Johnny Depp. I don't know too much about her, but the funny thing is she just includes Amber Heard on there as like a normal celebrity who's got a problem with Johnny Depp. So maybe in the future I'll check out a little more of her. But for now, I wanted to use this portion about Elon Musk and talk about it a little bit. It's called, Elon Musk Wishes Johnny Depp Left Him Out of It. Tesla co-founder Elon Musk was somehow dragged into Johnny Depp's drama with Amber Heard and he didn't seem all that thrilled about it. In fact, he alleged that Depp was trying to frame him for adultery even though he'd done nothing wrong. Now, you know, we get the nothing wrong part because he claims that he was with Amber when she and Johnny had already split. I want to get into that, so let's see what else this article has to say. According to E! News, Grimes' baby daddy was brought into the mix in 2019 when Depp filed his $50 million defamation suit against Heard. This followed her op-ed in the Washington Post in which she claimed she was a victim of domestic abuse, something Depp has fervently denied. In Depp's filing, he alleged that Heard got involved with the SpaceX founder when Depp was out of the country no later than one month after their nuptials. Apparently, staff at the building that holds Depp's penthouse saw Musk coming in late at night and leaving in the morning. This is quite the contrary to what Musk Camp says. Per E! News, a rep for the billionaire claimed Musk and Amber didn't start seeing each other until May 2016 and things didn't take a romantic turn until some time later. The relationship was short-lived, but they made their unofficial couple debut in 2017 when Paps caught them walking arm in arm. Musk further defended himself in a Twitter post claiming Depp's team put out video evidence of the alleged affair but conveniently excluded the date stamp at the time he alleged Heard and Depp had already separated. Now, here's the thing I was thinking. When you marry somebody and you plan on being with them for the rest of your life and you're supposed to love that person, how fast do you get into new relationships after the breakup? So if Amber married Johnny with the intention of being with him for the rest of her life, that she was in love, how fast after that would she want to be in all these other relationships with these other people? So if I'm reading this correctly, it says when Depp was out of the country no later than one month after their nuptials. So let's say Amber Heard got with Elon Musk one month after her and Johnny split. Even if it's like two. I mean, that still seems kind of fast to me. If this is supposed to be some great relationship of your life. And, you know, conveniently, Elon Musk is like super duper rich. Conveniently. So she's going out of one relationship from a super rich actor to a super duper duper rich businessman. I don't know. Seems kind of strange to me. And here's the other thing. Here, alleged that Depp was trying to frame him for adultery. Well, whose fucking fault was it? Come on. Imagine Amber wasn't in the picture at all. Imagine there was no Amber. Would Elon Musk think Johnny Depp would, like, try to frame him? Would they even have contact in any way, shape, or form? Seems like because Amber is in the picture, Elon's in the picture. And Elon is also in the picture because, well, of himself. He doesn't blame himself. Why is he with Amber Heard? Seems pretty random to me. And I say random, well, I know he's been with a lot of women, but uh, let's just stick with Amber Heard for now. It seems random, because from the surface, they don't really have much in common at all. She's just some girl 
who got a ton of plastic surgery, 50 grand worth, became hot, and started to work Hollywood and rich guys. So, what does Elon Musk have in common with that? Not like he's going with a woman who's a CEO of her own company, doing science, things connected to his business. It's just a chick who's in a movie or two and played a hoax on Johnny Depp. So if he wasn't with her, then he'd have no connection. I want to cover a few more of these maybe. There's Dan Radcliffe who apparently had a problem with Johnny's casting in Fantastic Beasts. He didn't say anything very offensive or insultive or crazy, but his attitude was pretty shitty in my book. You guys, let me know what you think down below. Doing shoutouts, special thanks, things like that. That first heard. No shoutout today. Having a crazy, busy weekend, but generally, I never miss at least one video a day. If you subscribe here, you'll get that little lisp and you'll get videos. It'll be great. If you don't subscribe, I'll be pretty sad, but I'll get over it. See you next time.